this kind of exhibition is really unique. The public will see something they never saw before and I hope they will like it and I hope they will really have the different and change opinion about performance art. So the preparation for the MoMA show is going well. I mean, it's a very big task for me because it's not just the perspective of my performance work. It's what really stands for the some kind of historical view what performance can be and how the performance can enter the museum and how can be performance collected from the museum and what happens if the performer, performer die, if the work can be reperformed, can be continued and what kind of rules that will take. It's really interesting to see how the performance can be present in the museum live. The title of the show is uh, Marina Bramovich Artist is Present. Literally, I will be there for an entire period of time of, of three months and the duration of the, of the opening of the museum, which means seven and a half hours uh, every day. Also, there will be a re-performance of five of my performances, uh, some of them with, which I made in the 70s and 80s, and they're going to re-perform in the same amount of time, uh, like three months. So these kind of things never been done till now, so it's a really a big experiment. I myself never actually performed three months also. If I may opening, and my opening come only the artists of my generation, I know something is terribly wrong. So it means that my work doesn't communicate anywhere, that means it's dead. There was a very funny interview of, of Leonid Cohen, and he said, I'm now in a third act. And in third act, everything starts very well, but on the end, the main actor die. I also feel that I'm in a kind of third act right now. You know, retrospective in MoMA, it's finishing a huge amount of, of work. Which I'm very interested is about legacy. What you're going to leave, you know, after you, you, you die. But one thing you can leave always is a good idea. And I really wanted to have this good idea to live after me.